Hey y'all, it's Krypton Critics. I'm here to show off the last of my shirts. Finally, okay, so this is number one. Uh, y'all motherfuckers need science. Uh, my boy Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, so now we're gonna do just general other, maybe political, uh, cultural, what have you, but it's just other shirts I have uh, and my video game section. So here's my first video game. This is Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, from all the ones I've played, I haven't played all of them, but that one was my favorite and it was because of uh, the, the character that we follow, uh, Connor Kenway. Uh, I believe his native name was uh, Ra Nakahidno, something like that. Uh, this is Hyrule from, you know, Legend of Zelda series. This is a Bible Man t-shirt and if you have seen, you know, my review of one of uh, the movies, you know, I, this is the whole f franchise of Bible Man is like a guilty pleasure of mine. And matter of fact, uh, Willie Ames, the actor that played him, uh, contacted me on Twitter uh, when I attached his name to it, and it, it, that was fucking awesome. But this is for the video game, you know, because it was such so popular. Of course, they made a game. This is uh, Bible Man Anime Adventures, but you know that they adapted to a game so they, they were hitting any market they could possible uh, this shirt just kind of a joke geek life you know better in graphics you know all that jazz uh, this is a shirt that just has PlayStation 2 on it uh, it also has the the old logo on the back We have another Hyrule shirt, but it's done in the style of, you know, keep calm, save Hyrule. So now let's go on to just my general other shirts. Uh, this is Dolly as a zombie. Dolly's my favorite painter. I'm not sure who thought about making a zombie, but I, I kind of like it. Uh, no boss is a water shirt, but it's a, a skull and like artistic squiggles and whatnot. Uh, this is another zombie shirt. You can read that right there. It's been a while since I wore this. Partially, a big part of it is because um, it's white and white stains easy and uh, I get around stains very quickly sometimes. Uh, I don't, a lot of times I don't like that risk. Uh, this is a shirt that does space, say Space Cadet. It, you know, it's, it's done in the style of like a Star Wars title crawl, but it's not a Star Wars shirt, so I did not put it in the Star Wars pile. Uh, this is National Security. Joke of, you know, Native Americans uh, protecting uh, their land from an invading white man. This is a Crazy Horse shirt. I got this from uh, my grandmother. Uh, she is the mother of my stepfather, so grandmother who lives in Illinois. This is Crazy Horse. Uh, they erected a monument to him recently, and she went uh, where they had it. This is, you know, Inuit art because my godmother went to Alaska, and she thought I would like that shirt, and I do. Uh, this shirt. I've had my dad got it for me. It's just a skull. It's also very white and can stain very easy. Uh, this is Satan is a nerd. <laughs> okay, I had to explain this a little bit. Uh, I found out much later after having this that this actually is made by a like uh, Christian company, but I just thought it was interesting, like. Few years ago, I was very into the idea of being contrary to a lot of Christians by mentioning Satan, even though I'm not a Satanist. But I uh, just, you know, thought, you know, it's kind of reappropriation because I'm a nerd and I have a lot of nerd pride, and you know, you know, they're using it as that he's uncool. But nerds can be cool. You know how it is. I didn't say I was one of them, but I'm pretty close, right? Uh, and a shirt that has. You know, 
call her Catholic priest and a witch doctor, but we're we'll called witch doctors. Uh, as you might guess, I'm an atheist. Don't say there's anything wrong with you necessarily if you follow uh, any deity or god or follow any religion. Uh, but this see on the back fairy tales it has a bunch of different religious symbols uh, This shirt is even more uh, Politically charged I would say uh, This has a white woman on top of black bodies and it says all lives matter this this artwork uh, this 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 paint is a painting uh, That was put on to, to this shirt it wasn't, you know, physically applied, but, you know, was printed on these shirts. And it's done by an artist named Quirky. Uh, you should follow him on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, he's a really uh, impressive artist. I've met him personally. Uh, his name is Q-R-K-Y. Quirky. You should be able to find him and, you know, go and support him because, you know, you know, he loves doing expositions and what have you. This is a uh, soccer or international football, uh, you know, Italian, uh, well, it's not in the jersey fabric, but it essentially is a jersey. Uh, that was given to me by one of my dad's exes who family I except kind of as my own family even though we're not technically related but they're all cool with me and when she went to Italy she thought I would like this shirt and she gave it to me uh, this is this shirt right here just has like general American symbols it has Iron Pyramid you know the Eagle USA star and, you know I'll, I'll wear the shirt uh, like on you know I know I, I definitely wore it a few times on the 4th of July. We have CSI, Can't Stand Idiots. I got this from uh, my grandmother, you know, my biological father's mother, uh, you know, one of the sweetest women in the world. And she also got me this shirt for Christmas. And yeah, you got the samurai, you got the, the demon woman. Uh, you know, not, not only is this great for when it's you know really cold outside, but I, I just love the design and you know I love you know uh, Edo uh, feudal Japan st style artwork and you know the same whole samurai age. It, it, it just always awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's the wrap up. All my shirts. That's everything up until now. Uh, so if you want to like know about any other collections or just ask, I have you know a few toys. Uh, I have some jackets. Uh, not nowhere as impressive as my shirts. Uh, I got shit ton of comics. I might do that if I like get you know maybe 50 or 100 subscribers just like because th th that will be a test because this this was nothing the amount of comics I have is ludicrous I, I would have to like go over to my dad's and find the comics that he has over there because you know it, it's kind of like a murky waters of whether it's really mine or his because you know he keeps at his place uh, he didn't really doesn't like read them N nothing against him for not reading them you know uh, he, he spends a lot of time, you know, doing other things, uh, and s some of the comics, you know, are like partial ownership of, you know, people that I live with, you know, especially my stepdads too, so, you know, and if you want to see anything uh, with him, he is a science fiction writer at S.A. Barton, and uh, he was featured in my review of Garden Galaxy Volume 2. So, tell me what you guys think. This is the final uh, shirt showing, as far as I know, because these are the rest of my shirts. As far as the Krypton Critics, you know I love you.